is April, and if you're new to my channel, my channel for only April is all about DIYs. I mean, we do DIY decor, we do our room makeovers, and we also build furniture, and um, I have free plans for a lot of furniture for you guys. I just gotta say that without further ado, this is two days before Thanksgiving, and I don't know why, but I decided to do a makeover of my coat closet. I mean, actually, I know the reason why, because the coat closet looks so hideous, and I'm gonna be hosting Friendsgiving this year, and I really wanted to surprise my guests and be like, hey, listen, instead of like putting your coat into this messy closet, you can put it into this beauty. I'm honestly not very hopeful that I'm gonna finish till actual Thanksgiving, but... One can hope, right? So let's get to work. Okay, did we see, did we say no judgment? Well, I think we definitely said no judgment because. I know, I know. So the problem with this closet that is so misfunctional, first of all, it's very, very small for this area and all the clothes like from my kids get like dumped in here. So we have the massive area with the shoes because uh yeah because there's not enough racks uh shoe racks so i'm planning to add like some uh shoe cabbies and also i want to address this long uh coat rack it's so impractical and uh it kind of like takes up so much space you know that i really feel that if we're gonna move the rack on the side and we're gonna add like more hooks because I'm a really big fan of hooks. Then it's gonna save up so much space and it's gonna look so much cleaner and nicer and like more open, you know? Also the shelves up there. So the one shelf, I'm actually not even sure why I have the second shelf there because I can't even like reach in. There's like nothing in those boxes. We're gonna make it more practical and um, always in the budget. I think my budget is like $200. Ah, are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's do it. First, we need to clear the whole thing out. Okay, and I'll be honest with you because most of the stuff is even not supposed to be here because it's seasonal. So I need to clear it out and uh, yeah, just put it where it belongs. It took me a while to clear out this closet because clearly, as you can see, we had so much stuff, so unnecessary stuff in this closet. Yeah, there's a bunch of seasonal clothes that shouldn't even be here. So I moved that and I also cleaned it out very, very nicely so we could have a blank canvas to work with. So as you can see, this closet is really not very um, functional. And uh, now, since I cleared it all out, I can totally see where uh, we can fix it and how we can make it better. So I cleaned up the whole space and this is how empty and inefficient it looks like. I guess we can just rip it off, this one, with a nail, yeah, can you believe this, there was like literally half an inch nail that was holding this whole metal bar with all our clothes, so now it's demo time, continuing demo time, come here you precious, you precious, oh okay, I think I need a hammer as well, huh, I got so carried away with the crowbar that I made a few mistakes. Well, mistakes happen, right? Okay, kids, so when you're doing this um, with the crowbar, make sure that this is not a drywall because, yeah, I don't want to damage that like we did. I mean, don't worry, we'll fix it, but it's better not to do it in the first place, right? So just know for the future. I think I figured it out. So you just need to use the uh, other side of the crawl bar. Not my favorite. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I made two holes in the drywall. To fix these holes, it's really not a big deal. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna patch the holes in the drywall. Yeah, okay, so I went to the uh, hardware store and I got this wall repair patch. Easy peasy. We're gonna fix the wall now. So how it works, you see this aluminum thing? So you put it on top of the uh, drywall hole and then you kind of squish in the mud and then it basically fills out the other side and it repairs the wall. <gasps> it's kind of magic. <laughs> It was my first time fixing the drywall and I really hope that I did everything right but um, after all it actually looks great and you can't even see and can't even tell that there was a hole but um, yeah this stuff actually works it's amazing and it's also so therapeutic to work with mud and you know like seeing it going through all these holes in sight and fixing the problem it's uh, yeah just so 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 satisfying so we're gonna let that dry but now we're gonna repair this wall because uh yeah there was a trim and uh, the trim is gonna be higher so we need to kind of fix this situation here before we can paint it This was my first time doing a drywall and I think I've done a really phenomenal job. Look at this. Well, obviously I need to learn more, but still, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to change my plan a little bit because first I was planning to um, make like a lower shelves on both sides, but now I decided that I'm gonna make on this side, oops, on the side of the um, rod, I'm gonna make like a tall shelf, so we're gonna have space for like ankle boots and all the stuff on the bottom. And on this side, I'm gonna have like a lower shelf just like for kids boots and uh, for like shorter boots like cutters or like something like that. Okay, so I also attached the masking tape, which is usually a great way to see where the shelf will be and uh, how low and everything, so kind of like visualize the whole thing. If you ask how deep to cut all the strips by 12 inches, that's gonna be so much, uh, so convenient for you. Yeah, so I'm gonna mark where is the shelf. Where the project, uh, where the pocket hole is gonna go? To make the cubbies was like relatively simple process. You pretty much make in a box and uh, using the pocket hole, you connect it uh, from all the sides. When you do so, make sure to use the speed square to ensure that this is a perfect 90 degree angle and the whole structure is not skewed or anything. So the bottom shelf is 10 inches tall and the two other shelves are six inches. And as usual, you can find all the details on my blog. I'm gonna post very soon, hopefully, uh, the details and the building plans for these cupboards because I kind of feel that they're so convenient and the shoes gonna finally have a place and not gonna be laying on the floor all over the place. So yeah, make sure to check my website for the more details and for the building plans. The shorter copy also has six inches gaps between the shelves and I kind of feel that this is perfect for the kids and uh, I'm gonna make some dividers so the shoe's not gonna uh, get messed up and tangled up and uh, the kids would have a place to put their shoes finally. I'm sure they're gonna be so excited and it's gonna bring some order to our coat closet. To attach these uh, dividers, I simply use the bread nailer because it's not a structural board and uh, yeah, they don't have to be like really secured uh, with the screws or anything like that.
that I gave this cup is a really good send down so we could prepare to prime it. And uh, you definitely want to prime the plywood before painting because this way it's going to take less paint and uh, the finish overall going to look way better. Hey, they both are primed and then I'm gonna wait for um, for it to dry and I'm gonna paint them over tomorrow. Then it was time to add uh, the trim and to do so you need to find the studs and then uh, when you find the studs what I like to do I like to draw the line on the wall so I can see where the studs like go all the way down and this way it's going to be easier for you to nail the trim to the wall so yeah so basically find the studs and then uh, nail the hell out of it you know like into the studs like to use at least like three or four uh, bread nails or you can go crazy and <laughs> use more but um, yeah so so make sure that it's uh, very, very properly secured. For the top, I used the five inch board that I primed and for the bottom, I used the four inch already pre-primed uh, trim, which actually, yeah, was saving so much time because I didn't have to prime it. Okay, so I finished all the trim and now we're gonna pet the holes. We're also gonna use the um, caulk to make sure that the edges and the gaps are look beautiful. I used the wood filler to cover all the holes from the bread nails, so when we paint it, it's not gonna be visible on the outside. And uh, yeah, I mean, I love wood filler. I think, yes, wood filler is gonna save us all because uh, it's such a powerful little thing. And also, yes, I absolutely love the caulk gun. Guys, I still do love caulking because you can hide all the imperfections that you have. Yay! Voila! Oh, like this gap never even happened. <laughs> Look at this, there's absolutely no gaps. So I'm doing this makeover for my landlord and she wanted to have like a very natural and very classic kind of entryway. So uh, this way I couldn't go crazy with colors and I couldn't decide which color I should use. So in the end, I just made it absolutely white. And you know what? I kind of like it because this closet is so dark and it doesn't get too much uh, sunlight. Yeah, and so this extremely dark corner <laughs> got even darker and I'm done painting. Look at this. I know it's all white and maybe it looks a bit boring, but uh, trust the vision, okay? Several days later. Okay, okay, okay. I know we already have the Christmas tree here and clearly I didn't finish this closet to, uh, by Thanksgiving, but it's better late than never, right? So yeah, so here's what I already did yesterday and I didn't film it because yeah, it was a bit dark, but anyways, let's see what the progress is. I put the, um, I put the rod over there. So you see now uh, we kind of like moved the rod to that side, which is good. I put the painter's tape, you know, like, so this is where the hook's gonna go. And uh, yeah, and the cab is already here. So now we need to finish it up, yay! If you want to apply it to look nice, the edge, so you can always use this edge bending. I mean, it's such a cool thing because it basically covers the edge and uh, yeah, it's so easy to use. You just glue it on and uh, the whole thing is gonna look fabulous. I'm not gonna leave it this color. I'm actually gonna stain it, uh, the whole plywood board, but and I hope that the edge bending is sustainable, but I guess we're gonna find out very soon.
And the most important thing, do not forget to unplug the, the iron when you're done. <laughs> This coat closet makeover turned out so fabulous and uh, it's such a huge improvement compared to what it was before and now it's super functional. We have the rod where we can hang the clothes and we also have tons of hooks that could be used for a lot of different purposes. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video guys and uh, yeah, till next week. I'll see you then. Bye!